Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renu. For those who have not subscribed to my channel or the first timers, I've been covering a lot of information on TR to PR pathway, Federal Skill Worker Program, CEC, PNP and whatnot. So basically it's base targeting immigration to Canada. So today's topic again is for TR to PR pathway. There's no much update for Federal Skill Worker Program and CEC. There have been a couple of uh, draws and I've talked about it. It has been targeting only and only PNP. I'll come up with more update in next week's uh, by the time Sean Fraser like immigration minister would be announcing, uh, you know, what exactly is going to happen from now onwards under uh, Federal Skill Worker Program and CEC. So now let's quickly cover uh, TR to PR pathway first timeline. This is uh, May 7th at 11.45 a.m. So this is interesting because the last we have hit was May 7th at 5.30 a.m. So that was the maximum IRCC has stretched to. So in this case, there is no AOR or no ADR, but only thing he has been able to get the TFN. So TFN is a te temporary file number and a lot of you are getting. And after that, it should take a week or maybe two weeks time period in getting the AOR. I have got hold of a timeline where exactly it has happened and I'll discuss in my upcoming slides slides. Now, second um, cases of Amandeep. Now, in case if you have good timelines, of course, like any any update, just share through my channel so that it could reach out to maximum um, you know, subscribers out here. Now, he has applied at May uh, 1245 p.m. Eastern time zone. And uh, it was he linked the application on October 20th. And if you see here on to the left side, that's a screenshot. And he was able to get the PR confirmation on his birthday. So congratulations there. Uh, in this case, uh, again, the ADR was for police clearance certificates and uh, payment receipt. So in case if you have that, just uh, submit that with the instructions given onto the letter. Now, some of you are struggling even submitting the ADR. So if you don't have the proper method to do it, the only option is to raise a web form and submit the LOE. So LOE is basically a letter of explanation. So whatever the document you submit, just explain that, you know, the history behind that document. And then he got the AOR. And after that, there was another ADR for IMM 5669 form. And thereafter, he got the PR credentials. Now, it was uh, for with outland spouse. So when you get the ECOPR, uh, like close to getting the ECOPR, you will be able to get the PPR request for your spouse uh, if she or he is in India or in your native country. Moving on to another timeline. Now, this applicant has applied on May 6th at 11.50 p.m. Eastern time zone. So um, again, you know, normal process, he was able to get the AOR and maximum of you got through in December and January. So this is one of that. Now, interesting thing is that there was no ADR. So he called up IRCC agent and all of you know that how hard it is to get hold of the agent. After, you know, <coughs> calling the agent, he got to know that there was an ADR for police clearance certificate. So uh, let me remind you, he got the application uh, AOR on January 19th. So he was basically uh, supposed to get the PCC request, but he did not. So what he did is that he submitted the web form attaching the LOE uh, with the police clearance certificate. Now, interesting thing is he got the ADR by email and that was issued on January 17th so day two days before getting the AOR but it wasn't received by him so he returned that and it was actually returned on to the letter if you see that it has to be submitted within 30 days time period otherwise your application may get refused so this was on February 11th so this is a cut to cut case so just keep in mind that in case my, my suggestion would be that when you get an AOR and you're sure that the PCC or any other document is not being submitted just do it proactively so that in case if things like that happen you have a case strong case behind that and you can always attach an LOE that you've already submitted that in this case uh, he is supposed to again raise a web form just to update that he was able to generate that copy earlier on uh, January 20th with LOE Moving on to another timeline is May 30th. Now he was able to get the AOR and ADR and BIL on the very same day, that is February the 10th. Okay, <clears throat> this is a timeline under stream B, June 4th. Now he was able to link up the application that was yesterday, February 11th. So a lot of you have applied under stream A, stream a and stream B. You are likely to get, um, you know, sooner or later. So you again don't need to worry about that. 
Now, just to update you, there are cases, uh, you know, who, who actually applied on May 6th, May 7th. They haven't received anything. And I'm talking not from the perspective of IG stream. I'm talking even for the stream A and stream B. Okay, so this is a case under stream A with spouse. The applicant, uh, application is of June 23rd at 4.57 uh, p.m. Eastern time zone. Now, uh, link up the application, you know, medicals through and AOR was received. And then he got the ECOPR for the principal application on February 3rd. And then a week later, he got it for the spouse. So the applicant spouse is actually physically present in Canada. So there would not be a PPR request here. Now, uh, another timeline, August 5th under implied status. So in case if you have uh, made the submission with implied status, you don't need to worry about that. The application should be through provided you were able to generate uh, you know 1560 hours in last three years time period under the NOC specified under that stream just make sure that you have the supporting documents and it doesn't matter even if it was a full-time or a uh, part-time or if it was a multiple profile so yeah he got through the ECOPR that was yesterday February 11th and uh, yeah it, the application was just uh, in a smooth pace here Moving on to another application here, uh, the candidates uh, <clears throat> timeline is of 7 p.m. Eastern time zone on May 6. Then, uh, you know, BIL file was linked to GCK. Now, uh, th there is a chance that in case if you were able to link up the application before getting the AOR, the AOR might get delayed. So you don't need to get panic that, uh, you know, if you are able to link up the application and you're not receiving the AOR for past two weeks time period, that is going to happen. And in case uh, you don't get the AOR, that is again not a mandatory requirement. It may happen that you simply get the PR confirmation portal right after the link, after linking up the application. That's a common scenario here. In this case, he got the ADR for PCC and after a month time period, again got the ADR for a few of the mistakes which actually he did in the application form. And then he was able to get the ECOPR that was yesterday. Moving on to another timeline, uh, so Shaguns, uh, it's again May 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern time zone. And if you see that the process started uh, picking up after December 15th and back to back, you know, uh, especially during the time uh, of Christmas and winter vacations, uh, they've been little delayed and this is natural. And after that, she was able to get the ECOPR on January 10th. So it took her almost a month in receiving the PR card. So as I said that, uh, PR card would generally take three to five weeks time period. Now, it can take up to six weeks depending upon the case and as, of course, the your visa officer, whosoever is going to assess your application. Okay, this is 8.30 p.m. Eastern time zone, May 6th. Uh, in this case, the application was linked on January 5th. Everything was done on January 5th. You know, ADR for PCC for spouse, the medicals were passed. And five days later, he got the dependents uh, biometric refund also. And then uh, you see the ADR for proof of income. So on January 25th. So IRCC asked for proof of income for the month of April and May. Why I'm sharing this? Because he erroneously forwarded the uh, pay stubs for February. By the time he realized it was pretty late because it was sub to be supposed to be submitted within a seven days time period. However, he raised the web form. So you can also do that. And uh, yeah, uh, smoothly he was able to get the ECOPR on February 11th. This is May 12th stream B case where he was able to get the PCC request first and then there was a portal um, you know, credentials was done and it took him almost like two months time period from getting the PCC, like from getting the ADR to uh, ECOPR. So this is again uh, picking up pretty fast uh, based upon the recent trends and I'll keep you posted through my channel for sure. Another timeline is of stream A. My apology for making it here. Let me correct it. So that, oops. Okay, so stream A, uh, May 14th, and there was an ADR for police clearance certificate. Uh, usually it has to be valid one in case if it's expired as a time. And again, I'm trying to explain it every video of mine, that uh, if your PCC is expired and you have not traveled outside of Canada in last eight to 10 months time period, that is admissible. But for the safe uh, side, you can always attach a confirmation receipt and LOE explaining that you haven't traveled outside Canada in last couple of months and you've also applied for the new PCC, you know, and 
in case if you're not able to do that for some reason, just submit the expired PCC with LOE. Don't forget that. And there have been successful cases based upon that. Yeah. So uh, portal request was done on February 2nd, and then he was able to get the uh, ECOPR on February 10th. So this was all for today. I hope this has been little help to you. And uh, again, if you're getting a TFN number, it's actually a temporary file number. And as I said, that this means that now visa officer is likely to get um, assess your application very soon, maybe in, in a couple of weeks time period. So with TV, TFN number, you will not be able to link up the application. So just keep that in mind. Only thing you can do is that you can raise web form for whatever the documents are left. And uh, yeah, it should be through. So in case if this has been little informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates. I'll be back soon with new video in next week. Till then, take care and stay safe. Enjoy the weather. Bye.